Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see screen replacement in new. So inside new, I have imported about some footage. So this is our main footage. Simply just you can play and check. So this screen just we have to replace inside new. So first we have to do some setting before starting further work. So this is our main scan or footage, which is this is resolution 920 1080. Now press S as for project settings. And in this full frame size, just we have to set same frame size whichever this 920 1080 then after this just property set here one now just select here this input so this screen just we have to replay so first we have to track this screen so for this just we have to take a tracker node so again press tab and take a tracker node so just connect with this main footage so then go to this starting frame here and now just create so first track point so for creating a track point simply just you can click on this add track and it simply just you can place maybe at this corner from here you can also adjust and after this just you can adjust this pattern size and pattern area now just we have to track forward then simply just we can click on the track forward so now just i have tracked over this first track points here so now if you want to check your this track point quality then simply just you can click on this one so you can see so maybe at last just i am getting some red so you can see this red line means maybe there are some errors so, so what we can do so maybe till here this is maybe correct so if you want you can just clear all these forward tracking data here so simply just you can click then just you can adjust the search pattern size pattern area then again simply just you can track this one here so now this is looking good here. So like this, just we have to track our all these points here. So again, just go to the starting frame. Now just I'm going to track this one. So again, just to hold Control and Alt and just direct, you can just create your track point. And just you can adjust. So now again for track points I am going to track so if you will see here actually not getting this fourth point here so for this what we can do so again just go to the starting frame and just create a track point and simply just I am going to track this point because at this point position and this is maybe in same plane here so just I am going to track this point here so simply just we can track maybe this one and just reposition in a proper position then simply just try to track this point also so now here just i have tracked over all these four points here so just all these points just you have to track properly inside new then after this just i am going to start composting here so for this what we can do so this screen suppose i want to place inside this tv screens here so for this what we have to do so again first just take a merge node so this original footage just we have to connect with our this B input and this A input just we have to connect with our this footage then after this what we have to do so now just select this screens which is screen just you want to place it here and just take a reformat node just attach after this footage and just double click here so this will automatically take this frame size according to your footage then inside the recite type just you can select this fit now just you can see this one here output one more important thing here so simply just double click on this your footage and just check this auto alpha enable again just double click here and just check this auto alpha now just take a transform node after this reformat so press t and just resize according to this screen and just you can place now we have to create a proper perspective so for this we need a corner pin node so after the transform press tab and just take a corner pin node now to disable this one here press d now just view this transform now select this one press 1 now after this just double click on this corner pin node then go to this from input and just you can adjust all these four points so remember this one just you have to disable this corner pin 
before placing your points now after this click on this corner pet 2d then click on copy from now just enable this one here so again press d now just view this merge node here now just simply just we can adjust all these points here and just we can place according to our this screen or tv screens so properly just we have to adjust after this just we can use edge blur node here so press tab and then edge blur and just we can define over this blur value or size value here so maybe so later just we can adjust anything now just double click here and just select these two points and just simply just we can little bit just we can shift so properly just we have to place so now at this starting from just i have placed over this screen here then after this what we have to do so again just a little bit you can see easily now you can see this one composting here then after this just we have to use this tracking data because now if you will move so this will not match here so again go to starting frame or where just you have to place this screen here so now just simply just we can copy this tracker control c and control v and just after this edge blur just we can attach just connect it here then double click then check all the transform scale and rotation after this we have to go to this transform then transform we have to set this match move and this set to current frame this is again important things here so suppose if you are matching maybe this is screen on frame 100 so just we have to also click this set to current frame so here just we have to select this match move then set to current frame now just we have to play and check now if you will play so you will see this is just moving according to over this tv screens here and this is just matching in all frames now after this just i am going to just uh, reveal this character head here so for this just simply we can track this character head so again just we can take another tracker so simply just what we can do so again just go to the starting frame select this one press 1 now just track this points here so again press tab and take this tracker connect now press 1 and just create a track point so here just i have tracked these points here now just we have to take a roto node so now press o and just simply just we can create a roto shape so just you can create so now after this what we have to do so now if you will move your player actually this rotor shape is not moving according to this character head so for this just we can connect this rotor with our this tracker here so again for this what we have to do so just hold control and you double click on this tracker here so this will actually open this properties panel in this float panel here now again you double click on this roto so just we have to transfer this tracking data on over this roto node here so for this just we have to select this root inside this roto node then go to this transform so just we have to transfer this data so translate to translate and center to center so for this just simply hold control button on your keyboard translate to translate then center to center so now just close this one here so now if you will see actually just i am getting some offset here so this is actually due to this data transfer here so for this what we can do so just again just we can adjust and just properly just we can place all these shapes here or if you will move so this will go according to our this tracker here so you can see and suppose still if you want to adjust any shape then just you can adjust it here according to a requirement maybe so you can see so here i have already created a roto shape for this character here so just i am going to take so again simply just delete these two here and just i am going to take this one here so same roto just you can see here so now after this what we have to do for further composting 
just move this roto shape down so just we can do our further composting so again this is our main composting so for this what we have to do so again just we have to take a merge node so p input just we have to connect with our this roto shape then after this roto if you want to little bit smooth your edges now suppose press 1 and alpha channel if you will check so if you want to smooth edges so just we can take a blur node and just maybe 2 pixels sufficient so just you can see maybe 1 so now again just view this merge so again press A and after this, this A input just we have to connect with our this main footage so remember this one this is our main plate now in this merge node just we have to double click and just operation just we have to select this in now after this again just we have to take merge node so B input just we have to connect with our this composting and A input just we have to connect with our this merge and let me adjust this one now just view this one here so you can see this reveal here so now just simply so you can see this is very simple flow here so this tracker just for this character head and this is just for this screens here we clear all these things here so simply just we have to play and check now this is looking good here now if I want a little bit do some color correction then after this edge blur just you can use the grade node and just simply just you can little bit add J so maybe or just simply we can play and check so this is actually main flow So this is our main flow. Now press F. Just yes, simply just we can play and check. So this is our final output here. Suppose if you are getting maybe this screen little bit is maybe slipping or edges are not matching in all frames. So after this grade note or before the tracker note, just you can use another corner pin and just you can animate. So for this, what we can do? So this is just only for explanations. So again, just take a corner pin and just connect before the tracker node just disable this one again press D view this one here and just again same thing go to this from and just you can adjust it then after this just we have to go to this corner pin then click on this copy from now just enable this one press D now just view our final composting then double click on this corner pin and just you can animate all these points here so simply just you can set key on all knobs then simply just you can animate all these points using num keyboard number so suppose if you want to move maybe all these two points so simply just we can select then we can use num keyboard number 4682 so simply just we can move so you can see so this is just according to a requirement and just you can match your screens according to this main screens here or main footage here so this is just only for explanation so now this, there is no any requirement for this corner pin so just simply just we can delete this one here so if you are getting maybe any slipping then you can adjust by animating this corner pin here now the delete or disable this one here so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel so thanks for watching